Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all, man. Look, so I just got done watching the Hitchens versus Lemos fight. Title eliminator for the IBF. Uh, Subriel Matias currently holds that belt at 140, who has a fight coming up in Puerto Rico versus uh, Liam Paro. Um, this was a very fun fight to watch, entertaining. It was competitive through and through. I felt like it really could have went either way, to be honest with you. The judges um, scored it for Richardson Hitchens. They Two judges had it 115, 113. One judge had it 117, 111. I didn't agree with that. But overall, I felt like it could have went either way. I'm not mad that Hitchens won this fight because he had the more crisp, accurate shots throughout the night. His jab was the best punch for him all night and um early on i would say from the early rounds to the mid rounds he looked sharp he never looked like he was dominating like every second of every round of the fight but there were spots and pockets of the fight where he seemed to be in control and it was because of the jab and him being able to use the distance his counter shots and uh setting limos up whenever limos decided to overextend Lemos did a lot, a lot of good work uh, cutting off the ring, you know, at least later in the fight when Hitchens started to slow down. And we'll talk about the conditioning uh, issue for Hitchens. But Lemos did a really good job of landing the big shots. I think the bigger explosive shots came from Lemos. Um, I felt like Lemos could have used his jab more to set those shots up and not be so uh predictable coming in with those shots but he was putting a lot of good work together he had richardson hitchens hurt a couple of times um later on like the last three four five rounds he had hitchison running and, and 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 holding and you know trying to evade and trying to stay out and it's a difference between boxing using the ring and then just like you know staying away now one thing i do want to give hitches uh, hitchens credit for is he dug deep when he got hurt and late in the fight, when he clearly was out of it from a conditioning perspective, he dug deep and kept fighting. He was throwing combinations, and he was trying to get his shit off, but he really had no choice but to hold because his conditioning wasn't there. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, had he not held, I feel like this fight wouldn't have went the distance. So, um, overall, it was a really good fight. Hitchens, you know, you got the W. Let this be a lesson, though. Number one, I want to see Lemos again. Uh, really good fighter. Fun fighter to watch. But Hitchens, let this be a lesson, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Stay focused on your crowd. Work on your shit. It's good to talk yourself up and be a showman. That's part of the game is entertainment. Get your name out there. That's cool. You feel me? And the way you perform tonight, you get in there and fight like that versus Subriel Matias, you're not making it past seven. Period. You feel what I'm saying? But focus on your game, though. All that talking and, and you know, don't don't be another Chris Colbert. Chris Colbert got more mouth than fight. You don't want to be a fighter that got more mouth than fight. You dig what I'm saying? And the way it's looking right now, you know, you're talking about proven champions that, that that's doing this shit. That done beat elite fighters already. That done already, you know, that's doing this shit at the highest level. Work your way up, bro, and, and show and prove that you deserve to be on that stage. And how you do that? You go out there and you fight Subriel Matias and you win. You just won a title eliminator, which gives you the rights of passage. And, you know, you're you going to have that opportunity to fight for that title. What you going to do with it? You dig what I'm saying? But don't turn into another Chris Cobra, bro. Don't you can't be out here having more mouth than fight. You feel what I'm saying? Work on your game, get your conditioning right. Another thing is Hitchens got to go to the body, bro. A lot of that shit that Lemos was doing late in the fight, you could have been slowed that shit down with them long ass arms using the stab jab to the body more consistently and sneaking, you know, sneaking the left hook around. You feel what I'm saying? Stab jab and sneak that left hook around. You feel me? He was not going to the body. You could have been slow that shit. You wouldn't have had to do all that holding if you would have went to the body. 
You feel what I'm saying? Hitchens got a lot to work on. He got to go to the body. You know, he got to stop all that damn holding and learn how to use his legs and use distance and pivots and stop all that damn holding and set your shots up. You dig what I'm saying? And work on your conditioning because you get in there with Subriel Matias and you get tired, you gonna get, he gonna smash the gas on you and get you up out of there. You feel me? He gonna go 100 miles per hour on you, bro, and it's over with. Because you can't last, you ain't got the conditioning. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. How did y'all feel about Hitchens versus Lemos? Do you think that the right person, the right man won? Um, I know it's gonna be a lot of people up in arms about the decision. You can consider it controversial. I'm not mad at Hitchens winning because I, I felt like he landed the more accurate, um, you know, shots with the jab. And, you know, I liked his combination punches to the head. He just didn't do enough of that to the body. So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender regime boxing. I'll holler at y'all boys, man.